My name is Stephen Harvey. I work at the SLF, the Institute for Snow and Avalanche Research in Switzerland. And uh, I'm actually working here for 17 years. I started at the Avalanche Forecasting Service. Now I'm more uh, in the avalanche prevention part. I'm working in a group where we do some science about the avalanche formation. White Risk is, is a platform for avalanche prevention. If I'm a backcountry skier and I want to use White Risk, then the first thing I would do is go on this White Risk tour part and then check out the avalanche, avalanche forecast, choose an area where the danger level is not too, too high, so maybe an, an area with a moderate avalanche danger level, and then go on the map and choose an area where I'd like to go for a tour and then you can prepare your tool with drawing your trip on the map with, a, with our drawing tool. You can display also the slope angles so you see really where the steep slopes are and try to draw with this tool and avoid the steep slopes. You also can then define key passages and think about what you would do if these passages might, might be a bit difficult or not able to pass. Well, human factor is one of one key uh, factor in the whole decision making and also in the whole avalanche e education. We always focus also strongly on the human factor because of course we all are humans. It starts with the perception when we see the snow, when we walk on it, when we hear the wind and of course at the end that whole decision making, the influence of the group, the pressure on myself, the pressure from the group. All these things are very complicated and we try to put this or explain this in a simple, easy way and also to sensibilize people that this is also an important part of the whole, of the whole thing. My name is Benjamin Zweifel. I'm working at SLF at Davos since 15 years as a forecaster and now I just finished my PhD on human factors where I specialized on group dynamics of ski tours and off-piste skiers. Just realized uh, that a lot of research uh, on human factors is concentrating on individual factors like uh, thinking errors uh, of, of people or uh, decision traps and, and, and I realized that the group is also a very important part and we always travel in a group in the mountains so I decided to concentrate on group dynamics then and uh, try to really get the import, most important factors of, of group dynamics and, and uh, see what we can improve there. Group dynamics is a really broad topic as well and, and I had to concentrate on some, on some uh, specific topics and I concentrated on, on uh, leadership, uh, on communication and on uh, decision making more or less these three uh, parts and, and this is the central part of my PhD actually. I uh, catched groups uh, just at the end of the tour. I, I waited at the parking lot and, and catched group there and interviewed them in quite in detail. So I took an hour or two hours with one group and, and we talked really a lot on, on the whole day and how they decide and how the groups stick together and how they are organized, who is the leader, and, and so on. And this was really interesting to get really into detail with one group. So usually you interview a group for five or ten minutes and, and you, you cannot really uh, get to the interesting points then. Yeah, I was surprised how much people really uh, think on, on their group constellation in, in organizing their groups but there is actually so far no way to really uh, structure this process so I mean uh, if, we, if we plan a trip uh, we have some structures like the 3x3 three three matrix and, and these tools which help to, to organize our thinkings uh, and there is no such way in, in concerning a group structure. And, I think uh, it would help a lot if we have some, some uh, structure to help people organize their group.